love water. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are sitting down, I'm gonna do a little Q&A for you guys. So I've been filming a lot of workout videos for you guys and you seem to really love them, but you did request a Q&A this week. So after this, you can still go to a workout video, you can head to my page and pick one. We have lots of different ones on there. So yeah, we're gonna do a little Q&A. It's gonna be a little personal, a little bit about fitness, about lifestyle, um, lots of really good questions. So let me get to my phone and we'll begin. Okay, first question is, what kind of dog do you have? Now, you guys are probably asking this because you see my dog roaming around in my videos, <laughs> especially when I'm outside. So I have a cockapoo. So she's half Cocker Spaniel, half Poodle. Her name is Bella and she is my BFF when I'm working from home. Um, she's 11, almost 11 years old, which is pretty crazy because if you look at her, she literally looks like a puppy. I will insert a photo here. <laughs> um, but yeah, love her so much. She's my bestie. <laughs> Next question is, what is your full-time job? I know you do YouTube and Instagram, but you obviously do something else. Yes, so working from home, I work full-time as a social media coordinator. I work for a media company, a really big one. I guess I'll just say it, Discovery Canada. So yes, it's the Discovery Channel, but here in Canada. So think Shark Week. Actually, when this video goes live, Shark Week will be on. So if you live in the States or in Canada, Go ahead and watch Shark Week, guys, and yeah. Would I start a business? Yes, I would start a business. I've kind of already started one, but like very small. So um, I've been doing boot camps this summer every Saturday, and I have two sessions every Saturday. And um, it's kind of like a kicking off of what I want to do because I really want to be an instructor and, and do that. So hopefully one day, but uh, right now I'm just very small it's more of like a side hustle um just because i'm still saving and trying to you know save for a house and get out of my parents house and all that stuff so i would like to maybe eventually you know as long as fitness is still in my life which i know will continue to be um yeah i've definitely thought about it before for sure so stay tuned you never know next question is do i count calories no I don't count calories. Um, I used to, so if you have been with me since the beginning, you know that one of my very first videos was like my favorite things, and one of them was an app that basically you track your food, so you're, you're counting calories. I did that, I think the, the app was called Lifesum. Yeah, Lifesum. I did that for probably like three months, and honestly, it made me like hate my body. <laughs> it's not because of like the food that I was putting in but it would like tell me that I was overeating when I felt starving or like yeah I just it didn't really enforce very good habits for me so I just stopped doing it I stopped counting altogether and now I kind of just eat um, when I'm hungry <laughs> if I'm being honest with you um, I don't really th try I try not to think too much about food in general because it's such like um a thing for people in the fitness world I just try to like focus on you know performance not about what I look like um, and just like fueling my body because you know I use so much energy during my workouts that I want to you know replenish that so that's kind of what food is for me it's more like fuel rather than like always thinking about what my next meal is gonna be like all right so next question how do you deal with comparing yourself to others now I went through like a really big period um, of time that I was doing this very frequently so that's why I stopped um, I actually took like a social media break for quite some time just to step away especially from Instagram Instagram is one of those ones where I feel like you go on there and you immediately like because you see someone's like highlight reel of their life and you're like why don't I look like that or why am I not doing that or you know they're off you know buying a house and I still live at home or whatever it is right like there's constantly comparison regardless of if it's like body body image or you know nutrition or finances like there's always going to be a little bit of comparison but I think I've just learned that I basically what I did is I've unfollowed people 
that would make me feel like I need to compare myself to them. And it's not their fault. Like, I always try to remember that. It's like, I don't want to blame that person. It's what I think. But, you know, if they're only posting stuff that's kind of like not really real, I guess you could say, like more of like that highlight reel, then I don't really want to follow them because I feel like I'll just instantly compare myself. And that's just like a a thing for myself that I have to work on so I really try to follow people that I'm inspired by that I celebrate their wins I don't feel like I have to compare their wins to mine um so yeah just finding a really good group of people that you can follow and that you can celebrate your wins but their wins too I think that's really important and just and just remembering that there's space for everybody on this platform like it may not feel like especially youtube or instagram but there is your voice is different than everyone else's and that's awesome i think that's so cool we get to be our own person and yeah i think it's just about like remembering who you are and knowing that you know you're never going to be like that other person because no person no two people are alike really um yeah, so just remembering that you're unique and you're wonderful and, you know, you have wins too that deserve celebration, but you deserve to put that onto other people that you appreciate and love too. So it's not easy, but um, it's more of like an active thing that I try when I'm, especially when I'm on Instagram. Not easy, but, you know, it's, it's something you gotta work on all the time. Next question is... What is the first place you would want to travel after COVID? Now, this is a weird question because I don't really know like when I'm going to be traveling, but my bucket list dream trip would be to Santorini, Greece. I'm obsessed with Santorini. If you've ever seen, this is super embarrassing, but if you've ever seen The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2, then you will know why Santorini is so beautiful. Yeah, so uh, to, if you had honestly asked me before COVID, my answer would have been like Arizona or Nashville um, because I've been to a lot of places in the States that I've just loved. Like I love Vegas. That's one of my favorite spots. I've been a couple times. So yeah, it's a little bit like it kind of sucks that we can't really travel right now, but it's just kind of the way it goes so travel within your area right like try to find a new place in your town that you've never been or a park or a trail or something that um, is new that's kind of what i've been trying to do to just keep that travel bug kind of down because it's just it's always there i'm always thinking about you know where i could be but um you know you can enjoy anything in your own backyard too Next question, are there things people misunderstand about you? I really liked this one. I thought it was an interesting one and I think that's like, like duh, like everyone I think has that about everyone else. Um, but I think the one thing that people misunderstand about me, especially because I'm on social media and YouTube, is that I work out every day and that I eat healthy perfectly every single day anytime i go out to eat and i'm with like friends or like family or like my boyfriend's family or something they'll kind of go oh like you're getting wings like i thought you were gonna get a salad or like oh you're getting a burger like i thought maybe you'd go for like veggie burger or something like i just i always laugh because i think people think that i'm like so perfect just because i put my fitness journey online I, I'm not really sure why but um, no that's not true <laughs> I don't eat perfectly every single day and I don't work out every single day oh my gosh I would probably be so exhausted if I did um, I work out about like four to five times a week but I'm teaching on two days so it's not like I'm doing the full workout I do have a little bit of breaks so I would say like anywhere from three to four times that I'm actually working out at home um, with my mom when we're doing our sessions. So no, I'm not perfect. I would like to say that on here even though I probably have said it before um, But yeah, that's that's one thing that I think a lot of people misunderstand last question is on body image so basically just asking me like my thoughts on my body image so throughout my fitness journey like it's been a roller coaster in terms of like how I feel about you know how my body looks, how it performs. Um, I first started fitness because I just wanted to look fit. Um, it really wasn't anything about, 
like how my body moved or anything like that. I just wanted to look a certain way. So it was more like aesthetics. But as you know, my journey kept going on, which for most people, this starts to happen, you start to kind of favor performance over like how you look. For me, I just tried to like focus on how well I was doing the move, like the form and, you know, getting good at squats or lunges or whatever, like something that maybe I felt weak at instead of focusing on like, you know, what was growing or what was shrinking or what was toning. Like, um, so for me, I would say my body image is pretty good right now. Um, you know, there are definitely days where I'm not happy with my body and I don't like saying that out loud because I know that, you know, I know I'm a fit person and there are other people in positions where, you know, maybe they're not and they feel that way. So it's hard to express like any type of like self-esteem issues because, you know, you never want people to be like, well, you look like that. So I should feel like shit, right? Because <laughs> I don't look like that. But that's not true right um you know you gotta love your body it's so important too it's so hard but it's it's really important i think that you know we make fitness look so hard but it can be for everybody it's for all levels guys i always say that in my classes i always make my workouts for all levels because we're on our own journeys no one is the same and uh yeah i love that you're different and unique and i'm so happy that you tuned into this video today i hope that you enjoyed this little q a it was a little bit different than what we normally do here and uh yeah so make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it really really supports my channel it lets me know what you guys like and what you don't like <laughs> And um, I upload a brand new video every Sunday, so make sure you subscribe below. I will see you in the next video. It will probably be another workout, so stay tuned for that. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day, night, whenever you are watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.